Yeah, let's talk today uh, real quickly about, let me see, self, flesh, and dying to self. Uh, a lot of y'all uh, don't misinterpret what I'm saying because I want y'all to understand the fact of letting self die. That's today's topic. Also, I'm going to speak quickly about God's law. Um, because nowadays, I mean, if you look in the Bible, you got a lot of people want to talk about this and that, but what they do is they quote scriptures and mix it with their self opinions. The Bible tells about itself the way God meant for it to. So it's just basically the three angels message. Uh, you got to understand that a lot of people out there is going to be false prophets. Majority will be Sunday teachers. I'm not saying all. The reason I'm not saying all is because the Bible tells you Jesus says, I have sheep that are not of that herd, but they will hear my voice. When they know his voice, they're gonna come out of her. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, you gotta understand that you gotta understand that some Sunday preachers are honest. You know, some of them know the truth. And if they know the truth, then what do that tell you? It lets you know off top that it's not really going to be like everybody that goes to church Sunday is going to hell. It lets you know that some people just don't know it and they're honest. So you tell them about it, ask about it. Anyway, you go to any priest that's, uh, I guess, let's say Catholic. They can't deny their past, the darkness alone. So they got to keep it real about that if you ask them about it. It was a terrible past, you know what I'm saying? It was, it was horrible. Um, but anyways, I want to talk right quick about uh, letting self die. If you don't let self die, let me explain that right quick. What I mean by that is not kill yourself. You know what I'm saying? Just letting self die is part of like dying to your flesh. If you don't let self die, then what's going to happen is you're going to want to do what you want to do. And you're going to do what you want to do. So that means you're going to follow yourself instead of Christ. You're going to follow your flesh. And you don't want to do that because yourself loves sin. We was born into this world of sin, so flesh loves it. You know what I'm saying? So I want to hurry up and make this a quick little sermon right quick. You know what I'm saying? And I really appreciate y'all to listen to me and, you know what I'm saying, take seriously what I be saying because I am I'm, I'm speaking real and I'm keeping it real. So. You know, basically, I just want y'all to know that self is something that's going to get your selfish desires and you to burn to hell. That's why you have to let the Holy Spirit guide you and lead you. You got to die to self because yourself is not going to do the right thing. Yourself is flesh. It's residue of sin after you're reborn again. When you're reborn again in Christ, then that's the new you. You have spirit, you have soul, and you have mind, you know, body. Alright, what you want to do is you want to follow the Spirit because that's what Jesus is. You know what I'm saying? That's what he moves into, the Spirit. Because that's clean enough for him to do. The Spirit. Then you got to understand that by you saying, I'm going to do this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make this happen. I, I trust myself. I can do good. That's good behavior. It's part of people's religion. You know what I'm saying? Religion is an enemy. I already talked to y'all about that in one of the episodes. But I do want to let y'all know that reality of this fact is you have to understand if you don't let self die, then you're going to follow yourself right into hell. Now, this is what I mean by let self die. If you pray and you ask God to lead you, what would Jesus do? Follow God every step. Then that's letting self die because you're following him. You're gonna you asking yourself what would he do instead of what you would do because what you would do might not be right into his in his eyesight. You know what I'm saying? So what you want to do is, you know what I'm saying, let yourself die. Die to self because self is sin, it's flesh. And that's what you love. That's why sin seems so fun to the body. Now once once you understand that Christ is all you need and you trust him, you would let him guide you and follow his steps. Because you know he knows best. You understand? Uh, so I want to, and then I want to say about the Ten Commandments. You know, uh, a lot of people, a lot of people these days gotta gotta realize that 
that's God's law. It's perfect. You know what I'm saying? His, his law is perfect. So with that being said, that's the what that's what you want to do. The Bible tells you, the Bible itself tells you, keep if you keep my commandment, you love me. You know what I'm saying? If you love God, keep his commandments. Uh he loves people more than anything. He, God loves people more than anything. You know what I'm saying? So I don't I don't wanna mislead nobody. So if there's something I don't know about, I won't talk about it. You understand? You have to look out for false prophets. You know, study the Ten Commandments, man, daily. You ask yourself, okay, I can do this, I can do this, I have to do this. You know, you might fail. You know what I'm saying? You might mess up, pick yourself up and try again. You never fail till you give up. You know what I'm saying? The fight ain't over until you give up. So understand that tomorrow isn't promised to nobody as well. So you got to always make sure that you live for the moment of Christ. You got to do whatever you think it is he will do. Look out for the poor. You know, if you if you healthy or wealthy than someone, healthier or wealthier than someone else, do what's right for them. You know what I'm saying? Help them out. The Bible talks about those people are going to be helped in the time of trouble. You know, you're looking out for the poor. There's nothing wrong with that. Another thing right quick I want to discuss is materialistic things. Materialistic things. Now understand that a lot of y'all don't know what it means to let all of this stuff go. Not literally saying let go what you have because God blessed us with things that we have. But he wants us to use them according to his will as well. So don't be proud because proud is sin. Don't have pride. You know, oh, I did good, man. I earned this. I did this by hard work and I did this. You got to understand that. You got to understand that um, if you do that, then you're going to mentally make yourself think that you can do everything on your own because you earned it. God bless you with that. Put him first and thanks to him because once you wake up, it's not a natural thing to wake up. God wakes you up. You understand? Your body is a temple. That goes for tattoos, piercings, smoking weed and all that. And then the thing about people saying, well, weed is not bad for you. Come on, man. Really? Weed. Weed is something to destroy your body. It kills brain cells. And you wonder why your eyelids be low like, you know what I'm saying, when you smoke weed, your eyes low. It's because it's destroying your eyelid veins. Weed is a drug. And let me tell y'all what sorcery is. Sorcery is anything that medicates the mind from wanting to do God's will. So ask yourself what that means. You heard me? Ask yourself about that right quick. What, what, what is powerful enough to medicate your brain for wanting to do God's will? And you can think that's TV, music, drugs, you know what I'm saying? Now, I want to let y'all know something right quick. If it medicates your mind for wanting to do His will, why do it? When you know you're not going to want to do what's right because, you know what I'm saying, it's simple and plain. So. Another thing is, Bob, what, what do it mean to follow Christ? Ask yourself that, Christians. You know, I'm talking to Christians on this one particularly. What do it mean to follow Christ? To follow Christ means literally to follow him, his footsteps. What was his character like? That's how you want to work on getting your character. You want to work on getting your character like Christ because if you don't, how can you get into heaven when you're like yourself. If you're not like Christ, who are you like? Right? And then a lot of y'all, if you if you had one wish, if you had one wish, if you had one wish to be like anyone on earth, anyone that you wanted to be like, anyone that ever lived or that's living, one wish to be like somebody, who would that be? I'm pretty sure most of y'all answer is Jesus. So, why not be like him, right? Some some people probably never thought of it, but uh, another thing is, man, you know, do 
do as you will. Do as your will is because do what you want. I can't force nobody to do right. You know what I'm saying? I can't do nothing but put effort in and serve Christ and do what he wants me to do. Forget about everybody else's opinion. Forget about his or her opinion. It's not about that. It's all about God opinion on me. That's all I care about. Don't put me on this high stool. Don't say, man, I want to be like E-Money. I want to be like Ernest. Don't do that because that's not me. I'm only serving God. You know what I'm saying? I'm not perfect. I sin every day. But we got to overcome all sins. We must overcome all sins. And how can we do that? Well, that's because you have to have Christ. The Holy Spirit has to lead you. And, and with that being said, if you don't have him, if you don't have a personal relationship with God and you don't know him, how can you get to heaven? You know what I'm saying? That's a different situation than a religion. You know, religion is, I go to church every week. I go to church every week and we worship on this day. Lord, listen to me. What do, how can that, how can going to church every week help you in a situation where a life or death situation where you don't have no one in church around or you don't have a preacher around and you got to make a decision and you don't know which way to go. How can that help you? Exactly, it can. So you got to understand a personal relationship with God is going to, he lives in you. He lives with you. So every situation of your life, he's going to guide you. That's how you want to be. That's how you want to have a Holy Spirit in you, a Holy Spirit with you. Real talk though, man, so a lot of y'all need to understand that once you accept Christ in your life as your Savior, then that's, 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 that's the way to go. You have to believe. You can't say I got faith, yet go to the club, and then go to church, and then blah, blah, blah. You can't do that. And tell me why it's so common that all of y'all want to use Saturday as your weekend. That's the Sabbath. What God Ten Commandments said, keep that holy. Not go out and live for Satan. Really though. And then they want to keep Sunday holy. See, Satan has the system trapped. You got to realize, who are you following? Who? You're not following Christ. You're following man. So I want y'all to understand something. So I want y'all to understand that a lot of times, man, y'all ain't going to be able to overcome yourself by good behavior, you're gonna keep failing and keep failing because your flesh is gonna. So you might, you might, you might love God with all your heart. Some of y'all might love God with all your heart and still don't understand why is it so hard to keep doing good. You know what I'm saying? You might go for about, you might go for about a good four or three weeks with doing something good, and then right after that, you right back to to sin. That's because you're trying to do it off of effort, self-effort, good behavior. If you do that, then you're going to constantly fail because as, you, as your Holy Spirit, is, I mean, it's the good side of you telling you, well, I'm not going to do this. I love God too much. I'm not. You really mean with all your heart. And then you got that self-flesh, that residue of sin, and you just talking about, well, you might not, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I might go hit this blunt, you know what I'm saying? I might, I'm gonna have to hit that, I'm gonna have to have sex with her. You know what I'm saying? That's what yourself is saying. Yet yeah, you don't mean no harm. You don't want to do it, you want to follow Christ, but it's so hard. That's because you don't have this personal relationship. You have to have him in you to lead you and guide you. We all must pray. Pray is the most powerful weapon you can do, you can use, you can have. So we gotta understand that by living in, in a world of sin that's so corrupted, the only way to make it to heaven is set your heart on heaven. Keep your imagination on heaven. Me, myself, and I, I don't watch nothing if it don't have nothing to do with Christ. You understand? Television is so tricky. It is so tricky. For all y'all parents that let your kids watch these baby first baby shows, these cartoon shows that seem so harmless, Understand that behind the scenes there is something going on that can medicate your kid's mind. I mean, so if that's the case, why let them, you know, why let them involve? Because Satan's after children, you know? So with that being said, keep them away from it. Keep their mind on Christ. There's cartoons, 
out there for Christ, you know what I'm saying? Because I know how hard it is. Kids in cartoons do that. I know how hard it is. So I just want y'all to understand that by always doing the right thing, you're pleasing Christ. So we must overcome sin. And I'm only I'm only keeping it real. I'm, I'm doing these videos because I want y'all to know that from what I've been through and where I came from, and look at me now and look what I'm talking about. I'm not ashamed of Christ. I'm not ashamed of of him. So he's real. You know what I'm saying? I'm letting y'all know he's 100% real, just as Satan is. At this moment, as I'm talking, you have Satan in this room right now looking at me. He's trying to distract me from telling y'all the truth, and he's doing the same to y'all. Then you have Christ in the room. You got a guardian angel. You understand? So make the right decision, man. Don't fear Satan. Fear God. And the purpose of fearing God is so you won't sin, you won't break his commandments. You fear him, so you won't. So everything God do is intentions is out of love. You know what I'm saying? It's out of love. And then you got the Ten Commandments. God, Satan knows how powerful God's law is. He knows how powerful it is. So you have preachers, and I'll tell you this, because I got deceived myself. You know what I'm saying? I was deceived myself. And Satan sit there and tell you that it's not really important to keep God's law because this or because of that. A lot of preachers are going to preach that to church. These days, teach, preachers are teaching to churches not to follow his Ten Commandments because it's old or whatever the case may be. That's God's law. He wrote that with his fingertips. You understand? Now, what I also want to tell y'all is false prophets in the last days are here. You understand? Even the elect will be deceived if possible. You know, it's all it's all right here, man. It's in the Holy Bible. I, me, myself, I try to read some of the Bible every day. More than once. Hopefully, I can keep it up. Keep it up. I can't. When I say I, I don't mean I. I mean through Christ. Because you got to let self die. If you don't, then you know, you know the case. And really, if it wasn't for me doing this new stuff, I'd have, I'd have, I would have uh, deleted my Facebook page because it's so Facebook is so satanic. It's so negative keeps your mind on wanting to follow up on Facebook every day. Twitter, all that. He sleep and try to ease him down right there. Up that didn't work. Anyways, what I want y'all to know is, man, understand that with self-effort, you ain't gonna get accomplished what that what it is Jesus wants you to follow. The reason I say that is because I understand that a lot of y'all want to do good and want to do right, but yet you find yourself doing the same thing. That's because you're around negative people in a negative environment. And if you're around a negative environment, it's gonna suck the life right out of you. Negative people will suck the life right out of you. Surround yourself by good people in a good environment, positive. And the reason I tell you that is because it's real. These are the last days, man. It's serious. And I know a lot of y'all in, in the streets and all of that, y'all don't really care because Satan has you trapped. And he knows his time is short. He knows it. He knows Jesus is getting ready to come. So with that being said, if you're sitting here cursing with a filthy tongue, robbing, stealing, doing drugs, clubbing, lusting, adultery, all of that stuff. That could lead you to hell. I overcame most of it. And what I say by that is, I hope by Christ helping me through most of that. So, the, the other half, it's not even the other half. The only thing I have trouble with, you know, a lot of people don't admit it because, a lot of preachers don't admit it because they don't want to be, I guess what? Put yourself out there like that. I'm gonna keep it real, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm always gonna be 100, whether you want to hear it or not. But my thing is, I, my thing is these females. I try to uh, I try to coach myself, which it hasn't been working. So you tell yourself, leave a female alone. Leave these numbers in your phone. I got rid of all the pictures in my phone that helps. Uh, a lot of people, I don't want to delete their contact because sometimes they hit me up and want to know what's real. And I tell them what's real, so what's wrong with that, you feel me? Another thing is, a lot of y'all don't understand the situation that if, 
if you continue to let females make you lust, make you come after them, make you try to holler at them, then that could be the very exact reason why you go to hell. You don't want, ain't no female worth her soul, bro. No female. Ain't no female worth your soul. None. You know, I want y'all to know that if a female come up to me, you know what I'm saying? Like, if she come up to me and be like, so, what's up, E? Um, we're gonna go do this, we're gonna go do that. And I know it's wrong. I'm gonna tell her like it is. I'm gonna say, that was the old me. Uh, I'm not gonna be rude, I'm gonna try to let her know the truth. That was the old me, now I'm living for Christ. We are in the last days. Y'all gotta realize it's a blessing to be ahead of ahead of your game, on top of your game. Meaning, it's a blessing for you to keep his law because if you don't keep it here in the last days, when will you keep it? Never. So make yourself make yourself right with Christ because if you don't, you can die, and you can die from lack of wisdom and knowledge. The Bible tells you you want to search for that as if it's silver or a treasure. So if that's the case, that's what you should be doing. That's how I do. I mean, now I just don't, I just don't understand how these females constantly, and I'm bent over like this because my camera is pretty low. So if I stand tall, boom. You know what I'm saying? Boom. You can't see nothing but my chest. All right, but anyways. I want to let y'all know that, see, these days, females are a part of Satan and dudes, too, you know what I'm saying? But mainly, I'm talking females, because, see, I had to overcome all of this female stuff, because that was my weakness. A lot of people's weakness is drugs, liquor, alcohol, all of that stuff. Mine was females, because I like females. I'm a dude, you know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a man, so what I do is, hey, it's bored. Let me hit this female up. What's happening? And then we get to get into this and get into that. Then I become a player slash pimp. A lot of y'all need to understand that it's not about what you can do, who you can get. It's about who you're going to please. You know what I'm saying? Who you serving. Who you serving. Because if you don't sit there and serve Christ, you only serve and save him. There's no in-between. There's no serving nobody. The Bible tells you, you can only have one master. Either you, you love one or you, you hate the other. Yeah, so there's no one foot in the door and the other foot out the door. It's real. So I want y'all to know that females could be the very, the, the same reason that you, that cause your soul to go to hell. And y'all know ain't no female worth it. You always say money over brides. You know what I'm saying? M-O-B this, M-O-B that. But if that's the case, then I already explained that to you because why are you getting money for the brides? I suggest, I mean, you, you sitting there, I assume you getting money to get your shine on. Yeah, so think about that. But I do want to let y'all know that I don't, when it comes to females, the best, the best way to do that is tighten your relationship with Christ. He will show you what they're about. They wear these tight jeans, showing their cleavage, you know what I'm saying, about how thick they are and stuff. Man, that's, and I still haven't fully overcame it, you know what I'm saying, but man, that's like one of the, the hardest things to for me to do because see, for y'all don't know E-Money, I never in my life smoked or drank or did any kind of drug, never. So with that being said, my weakness was females. I never tricked, you know what I'm saying, I never tricked on the female, but I have, I have, got to the point where I said, dang, self-pleasure, I'm gonna love self-pleasure more than Christ. And the reason I say that is because I know I, I used to have sex before I would think about the consequence, whether it's getting a female pregnant, you know what I'm saying, or getting them addicted to me and, and this emotional thing. And it goes on so often today in today's world. You wanna, matter of fact, I might make my next episode about females, how about that? Maybe I can help a lot of y'all out, you know what I'm saying? Because I know how hard it is to overcome that. I had a homeboy, he was like, <laughs> he was like, E, I feel what you said. Like, he was like, E, I feel what you're saying, but how, how in the world can you stop 
want to get females when that's all they do is look like that? I can tell you the answer right now. It's because you have to make that choice. It's a choice. If you don't want it, then you ain't going. You feel me? It is a choice though. And a lot of people say, I can't be faithful to my wife because of this, because of that. Yeah, you can. You can actually do that. And I'm telling y'all this because I was, man, it, when I even got to bring you to crossroad after crossroad after crossroad, I'm telling y'all this because when I was changing for Christ and trying to do what he wanted, I knew that this would be a problem for me, these females. So what I did is I kept falling short from the glory of God. You know what I'm saying? I kept finding myself messing with females, messing with females, talking with females, talking with females. So then once I did that, I was like, hey, you know what? It's, it's easier for me to do other sins now because I don't feel, you know, you can burn that conscience out. Like, first time you do it, you're like, ah, oh, man, I'm wrong for this. God, forgive me. You know what I'm saying? And next thing you know, you start doing it more often and you don't care. You know, you just, you become just used to it. So, thank God that he got me back on track. He got me back on course. So, a lot of females don't know they asking why you ain't been hitting me up and et cetera, but that's why. So if y'all watching this, that's why. I'm trying not to lust. I'm trying not to sin in God's eyes. That being said, I, I do want to find a, uh, a soulmate, a wife or whatever the case may be, so I could uh, that could help me out. But another thing right quick is realize that having a, having a mate could actually be harder to follow Christ and that go for females and dudes. You understand? Having a mate could make it harder for you to follow Christ because the Bible talks on marriage and love your mate as you love yourself and your body is theirs, etc. You know what I'm saying? So what you gotta do is please them. You know, you gotta please you got when you get out of work or you go home, you gotta focus on pleasing them. Also you gotta focus on working for God. So how can that work both ways when if you were single don't get me wrong, I'm not saying it's a sin or nothing like that to have a mate. Because like I said, I'm looking for one. So if there's any females out there that's, you know what I'm saying, ain't married, look good, you know what I'm saying, keep themselves up in this uh, God-fearing family or God-fearing female or woman, let me know. You know what I'm saying? I consider, I consider everything you got to offer me. I take my time with it. We'll, we'll get on from there. That's my little single shout out. Anyway, let me tell y'all this right here though. See, a, a single person, a single person could wake up in the morning and, I mean, don't have to worry about nobody else but pleasing Christ, living for Christ, living for God, you know what I'm saying? And honestly, with these men the last days, it don't really matter on who's gonna, um, how can I put this? With these men the last days, it really don't matter on having a mate. You just need to put all your attention on God anyways, you know, really because he's the only thing that counts. And a lot of y'all be like, man, I believe God died on the cross for us. Jesus died on the cross and you know what I'm saying? So if you know he died for you, I mean, he think about it. If you was the only human on earth, he would have went through the same punishment that he did just for your soul, just for you. I mean, y'all put all this other stuff before him. It's crazy. You know what I'm saying? And, I, and it's hard for a lot of y'all to understand that listening to false prophets is so easy to fall for. I fell for it just the other day, but that lets you know. Christ tell you his people won't be moved out of his hand, just like he wasn't moved out of God, out of his father's hand. And this is why I say that, because a preacher, I don't want to put his, yeah, I'm going to put his name out there. Should I put his name out there? Yeah, uh, I don't know if y'all know him or not, but there's a preacher I was listening to named Cree Flo Dollar. He was good, I thought. He was good, but I was following for what he was saying. Long, long story short, he was trying to tell me, he, he preaches to a big church too. Y'all can look him up, Cree Flo Dollar. It's a black male preacher. Uh, I was listening to his sermon, and he was just basically telling you, not to follow God's Ten Commandments, but the way he did it, he made so much sense with it. And, I, and my sister was telling me, like, that's part of that false prophet thing. You don't need to listen, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, nah, he owns something. He got a point here. Long story short, you know what I'm saying? I was wrong. So even the elected could be 
fool because the Bible tells you if possible we will be tried and tricked and deceived and all of that too. But as you see, God brought me right back to his understanding. Like, boom. I know you have a lot of knowledge, Conway. I know you got a lot, a lot of biblical sense. I know you understand a lot of stuff about what's going to happen and what's going on right now. But even you can be deceived by Satan. You could be tricked. So with that being said, don't never think that you know enough and you got it just made. You got to figure it out. Because that's part of Satan telling you to think that. You understand what I'm saying? And I never felt like that. I never thought that I had it made or figured out. I'm just saying. That lets you know don't ever think you do. Because I know I got a lot of knowledge and stuff, but that don't make me uh, excused from Satan look fishing game that he's doing to people. So I just want to let y'all know, don't bite the bait. Look out, man. A lot of Sunday preachers and false prophets, a lot of them don't know the truth. The mark of the beast is not 666. Read your Bible. You know what I'm saying? Uh. Read your Bible. This, this right here tells you that the mark of a beast is, I mean, that 666 is the mark of a man. In Revelation, that's what it tells you. So that, you know, I already talked to y'all about who that is and stuff. Uh, Isaiah, I already put that on Facebook about the false prophet and um, the NIV Bible is negative, it's poison, and who owns it and all of that. So. I just hope y'all pay attention to my video. Stay tuned, man, because I will. You know what I'm saying? I will be back with some more truth. I don't know what my next episode will be about, but I really don't even care no more. I don't study before I have a, a speech when I put this camera on. I don't do none of that. What I do is I be like, okay, boom. Hit the record button and I be like, okay, let me see. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about that. You see what I'm saying? I let it, I let it flow out. The Holy Spirit is with me, and God bless y'all. I hope he's with y'all, especially these last days, man. A lot of y'all don't understand what's coming, and you think that this, you think that you're not going to be able to just do it like that. It's not that easy, you know. You, and another thing is, how could you be ready to die for somebody you don't care about, you don't like, you don't love? How are you going to be able to do that when you're Christ? Like character has to be in place. Justice will be justice. The just will be just. Righteous will be righteous. And the unjust will be unjust. The filthy will be filthy. The wicked will be wicked. And all of that. When probation clause is just what it is. So with that being said, I'm out. God bless y'all, man. Keep praying for me. Keep praying for my family. And I keep y'all in my prayers, man. And all of y'all that let me know that y'all do pay attention and I'm not alone. Uh, I thank y'all. Salute. That's my motivation to let me know to keep doing this. That's for everybody who ever told me, uh, good job, that you. I'm glad you're doing this. Keep speaking. Keep doing what you're doing, E-Money, because I'm with you. That's good. And as y'all with me, I hope Christ is with y'all. So y'all follow Christ. Don't follow me. Don't follow no disciples. Don't follow Christians. Because he said pick the cross up and follow me because we only human ourselves but he do use us to get to other people it's a battle of souls baby spiritual war going on you know what I'm saying we gotta be them soul winners with that being said I'm out